Hey everybody, welcome back to Glenn's Garage. Today's video, we're adjusting the handbrake cable on a Ford Focus. So, come along, I'll show you how this is an easy DIY for you to do. So, handbrake adjustment or parking brake adjustment on a Focus. This is a 2015 Focus. It therefore is considered a Mark III, uh, North American, it's in Canada actually. Um, so left-hand drive, uh, it's an SE manual. And what we've got is the, the handbrake's just coming up too far. There's too many clicks and it's not quite dripping right. On steeper hills, you can hear that slight creaking in the back wheels where it's just fractionally slipping um, at least until it moves forward and the transmission takes it up so we're going to try and make an adjustment there um, it has the North American console in it I believe I've seen several different versions of the console um, particularly like cup holder orientation and bits like that so you'll see when we get in there but it is the North American one so we're going to try and get in and see if we can find an adjustment under there all right, so that's our console. And again, I said, I believe this is North American. I think the European ones and certainly the British ones, I believe, are different, that the cup holders are oriented differently. I'm not sure quite how they do that, but it is different. Anyway, so this is what we've got. So if you've got a North American Focus and you're looking to adjust the handbrake, hopefully I'm going to be able to show you how to do that. So we're going to start off here. There's a plastic trim piece that sits in here that uh, holds the the handbrake boot and I've just started picking at it here so I popped the first clip just by hand I didn't even need any tools just got my finger under there so we're going to take that out we're going to have a look under and hopefully we're going to find a casting uh, that supports the handbrake and possibly even the armrest and with any luck there's an adjustment there that we can uh, adjust that cable up a little bit all right, a bit tricky to get a camera angle here and use two hands, so especially we're just using an iPhone on a teeny tripod. But okay, we got this. Just gonna keep working this up. Here we go. That's okay. So it popped out of there, so it clips up under here. So we should be able to move that, move that out of the way. Oh, there we go. All right, that just comes right off. Okay, so that's the boot out of the way, and. Sure enough, we have a, a casting here. Okay, there we go. Oof. Pride myself on clean car, but I guess we'll do a little extra cleaning while this is apart here. All right, so there's our, there's our casting. And this will be the cable. So this will be the cable that pulls up. So there'll be a certain amount of slack there, but there seems to be a fair bit, so. We're going to try and put a socket on that, crank that down. I'm hoping this doesn't turn. Um, yeah. In between video edits, I actually went and I marked the bottom of this so I'll know this threaded rod is turning at all as I crank this down. This appears to be a nylock, so there's no other locking nut on it. Um, looks to be a 13 mil, so. We'll get that, and it's going to need a relatively deep socket, I think, so we'll get that there and see if we can turn it down. So, deepish 13 mil socket, that's, I've got the black mark on the bottom. doesn't seem to have changed so I'm thinking uh, I can just crank this down a bit oh my goodness much better
just a teeny little bit more there. All right, so this is pretty easy adjustment. This so 13 mil socket on here, crank it down. You don't want it tight. You don't want the instant you touch the handbrake, it's going to have the brakes on. You want to be able to click up a few clicks. I've got six or seven, which I think is going to be good. If it's if I find that's not quite right, I can go in and adjust again. But all we have to do now, we'll do a clean up put the piece back in. So ready to put the trim piece back on. Um, I should also probably point out some of this adjustment may be due to stretch, some of it may be due to the back brake pads wearing down a bit. Um, when I checked them in the spring they were good. I'll be checking them shortly because it's uh, late October and we're going to put the snow tires on very shortly so I'll check them but just bear in mind if they're worn down a lot and you put new pads in you may have to make this adjustment again just to be on the safe side so it may be a little tight with new pads anyway just something i thought i'd pass on so okay so got this piece all cleaned up here I'll slide that that on there. Um, so we'll tuck those up underneath where they need to go. Clicking. There we go. Excellent. Okay. That is that job right. completed. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was helpful to you if you're trying to adjust the handbrake. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, hit like, hit subscribe, send me a comment. Um, a like and subscribe would be awesome. And uh, there's more content on the channel. Uh, a lot of project car stuff. And also as I continue to do maintenance on the daily here, uh, try and capture that on video as well so it's a help for anyone who's looking for some simple guidance there. Um, you all stay safe, have a great time, and I hope I see you back here in the garage.